Higawa, a nice win with the white pieces against Niels. The position looked really messy. What happened? Yeah, it was a very interesting game. Um, I surprised Niels in the opening playing this bishop f2 move. Uh, it's only been played one time before. Um, so I think for Niels it was a very unpleasant surprise at the board, but he came up with a very interesting try with this bishop d6 and uh, rook c8 trying to get counterplay. Um, but basically, uh, I used a lot of time, maybe like 45, 50 minutes, calculating this queen g5 variation. Um, and I think once I found this idea with uh, knight c2 and queen a1, probably it was subjectively just winning. So, I mean, really it came down to basically like two moves in the, in the middle game that really decided it. And uh, I think my calculation was, was pretty, pretty good when it needed to be in that, that middle game phase. Right, you're on four out of four. You're on fire here. What's going on? You, you play so well here in such attacking chess and whether you're playing a lower weighted or a strong grandmaster like Niels, your style doesn't change on the board. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just seem to do well here. <laughs> it seems to be almost, uh, it's become pretty natural for me. But again, um, there obviously are a lot of rounds ahead and I haven't played the top other top players yet. So certainly a long way to go. But of course, uh, every half point that you can save early on uh, makes a difference. I mean, if you look at like Maxime, he's drawn one or Levon, I think he's drawn two games now. You know, the, those, those half points, you really want to try and uh, avoid giving them up uh, in, in the early rounds if you can. So it's, it's definitely good to have the maximum amount of points. Um, but I'm sure I'll be playing some really strong players going forward. Right, and you mentioned that uh, you surprised Niels in the opening today. Uh, is that something that you had prepared today before the round, or is that something that you had in mind from before in this particular line? Um, that was something for today. Um, I mean, I think Niels slightly miscalculated. He made the assumption that since I was playing in the uh, Pro Chess League last night at like 4 or 5 a.m., some ungodly hour, that, that I wouldn't play something super sharp against him. Um, but I, I felt that Niels was probably going to try to play something sharp like the Knight or for the Dragon, and so um, I just came up with a little idea, and it, it worked really, really well. So it's a very good preparation. Your style of play and even Neil's style of play is actually quite similar. Both of you are extremely dynamic players and combative chess. And uh, um, is that something that you would also look forward to playing against someone who also brings in a lot of enterprising chess? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's when it's the most fun. But again, I think having said that, it was very uh, enjoyable for me today, but it wasn't for Neil's. And I mean, I think that's the, the drawback when you try to play really aggressively with black. I know like for, for example, I've had a couple of games against Fabiano where I also played the Knight Orf and I basically lost the game without making, uh, neither of us really made any moves on our own. So um, that's, that's the big drawback to trying to be very aggressive. So I think you really just have to pick your spots. But in general, um, anytime both players want to play uh, aggressive uh, chess, it's always going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun for the spectators as well. We love seeing you play like this. Good luck for the rest of the game. Thank you.